The fourth section for lesson 16-3 states, given parallelogram kind with KN perpendicular to ID, A, list the three triangles that are congruent to triangle KXD and give the reasons for their congruency. List all segments congruent to KD and explain why. And complete the theorem. If the diagonals of a parallelogram are blank, then the parallelogram is a blank. We're going to go with a four-minute time limit here in question number five, all parts. Go ahead and take a moment to pause your videos now and work through all of question number five. All right, I have stated that triangle KXD is congruent to triangle KXI, which is congruent to triangle NXI, which is congruent to triangle N, oops, sorry, this should be NXD, NXD. And I could state that by side, angle, side. Because we know these are perpendicular, so that creates those right angles right here in the middle. And because this was a parallelogram, opposite sides are, these are bisectors. Now, because of that, I can state that KD is congruent to ND, which is congruent to KI, which is congruent to in I, and that's because they're corresponding parts of congruent triangles being congruent. Lastly, if we know that the diagonals of a parallelogram are perpendicular, then we can state that the parallelogram is indeed a rhombus. On to the next set of questions.